2018-1080C Investments LLC. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. If you've not noticed the pattern already with these three cases, I'll go ahead and point it out. All three of these are rezonings. All three of these revolve around an issue of separation of two and intensity of land use areas, commercial and office versus residential. And all three of these are in that in-between lane. It's in between. This being no exception, um, this is a request by ATCO Investments to rezone 1.75 acres from R15 to RP. Subject property is located at 3320 North Oak Street Extension. This is directly across the street to the west from Three Oaks Apartments. Um, as you see on the zoning map on the screen, which is in your packet, um, this is in the land between the single family neighborhoods of um, Windsor Park and others to the north. And then more of an office development that's immediately to the south with some high density residential. And then further south of there, you get into the commercial patterns for the front of the road. Um, immediately to the south is PCD, that's one of the old the fund zoning districts that is no longer in the regulations that stands for planned commercial development. Um, however, when I pull the file on that, um, the stipulation is it be mainly offices and nothing more intensive than a CN use. So it's sort of misnamed, um, but it's essentially an OP type zone. Um, RP, of course, to the east, which is Dr. Griner's office, which is under construction. And then the PRD 15, which is high density single family residential there to the west. Character area really describes it. This is the northernmost property of the Neighborhood Activity Center, which allows up through RP and OP type zonings. Um, commercial zoning is possible if it's along a busy road, which this property would be eligible. But to the north of here, it is established residential, which means residential zoning only. So this is sort of the end of the line of anything that could be non-residential. Um, they are requesting RP zoning, which is similar to the properties to the south. Um, as opposed to OP. Their proposal is for an office park. Um, site plan that's purely conceptual is in your packet. Um, it shows the maximum that could possibly be built here in terms of parking and building. And this is based on the calculation formula of professional offices, not medical offices. If this were to have medical office clients in here or tenants, um, the quantity of building would have to decrease. Um, or find some way to add more parking, which there really isn't. This was the designer's way of showing a maximum scenario of what could be built here as professional office. Uh, the applicant is proposing at least one attorney's office to move in and have spaces available to rent to other professions. That is the current proposal. Um, Ariel, you see the rooftops of the buildings nearby and then the wooded areas of the large residential lots too. Staff is recommending approval of this after finding consistent with the conference plan and the standards for exercise and zoning power. Okay. And some pictures, Mr. Chairman, that I almost forgot. Um, subject property, existing residence sitting far back off the road. Adjacent properties, it's that office park, the PCD, directly to the south. Um, medical building across the street that's currently under construction. Um, this is the Three Oaks apartment <coughs> directly across the street. And then other uh, properties in the area. And then the low, no left turn sign that we had talked about at the work session. Keep in mind that site plan in your packet is conceptual. This still has to be engineered go through the engineering and other plan review process. Um, you might recall from the work session, we did talk about the proposal to widen this part of the road. Um, that's a DOT-related project that will be coming in the next few years. Um, there's a lot of engineering decisions and things to be done here in terms of access management. Um, so no left turn, I talked with the engineering staff specifically about this sign. It was the previous city engineer to be put up. If you look at the maps in your packet, it is immediately south of the split where the curve goes around by Three Oaks and versus um, Cherry Creek Road. And the problem they had, I'm told, is supposed to... Is it south of the split? It's south of, excuse me, north of the split, um, but south of the left turn into that office park. 
The concern was when there was high volumes of traffic coming south down Cherry Creek Road, people going north of Cherry Creek Road were waiting to turn left because it was just a two lane. So they were holding up traffic that was stacking behind them, and that stacking of traffic was inhibiting people from taking the right fork on around the curve past three X. So that's why the no left turn sign was put up for a safety reason during peak in traffic. So with, with your with your interview, whatever you want to call it, discussion with the engineer, what what was the traffic pattern coming out of Dr. Griner's office? That is, I don't know. Um, there was, a, I think, a diesel lane that was being proposed as part of the site plan. Um, the staff member I talked to did not have a copy of the site plan handy, um, but that was something he remembered being in the discussion. Um, and obviously, they're not done with the site yet. They may be rolling that into the road widening project, which is coming up here pretty soon. It, is, is this little professional park just south of the proposed thing? It, is that a private park? It's a built-out office park. It's a mixture of offices that are in there. It's a planned development from 15 years ago. Um, it's parking. It's all shared with building pads. There's a driveway on North Oak. And the other drive is down to the south and west of the road. <coughs> and that was the requirement of that plan of development approval. To have an access onto Wesley so they can consolidate turning movements <coughs> at Wesley. And then the other driveway on Oak was to be to the north past where the road splits so that it would not interfere with turning movements that are going on there. Um, my guess is. The let no left turn sign will probably change once the road improvements are in, but maybe as a temporary measure, my guess is they will put another sign at the driveway going into this property until such time as the road improvements take over. So I just have because to... it's not that much farther north, I don't know how far it stacks up, but that might be a concern. But again, that all will get reviewed during the planning review process. So just one follow up question on the previous traffic engineer that put, <coughs> that put this no left turn that the guy presently that put it up. Which guy put up the no turn at Ride 8 that says no left turn but you get stopped there? Do you know? At? At Ride 8. Now that I don't know. Just Pro here. I'm going to guess the same one. But it makes sense. <laughs> but I think it, all of that will get reevaluated. Why don't you turn across the uh, turn lane? And I think it's all of those have pointed to the need for the widening of North Oak Street extension for many years now, and it's finally yeah. coming to fruition. It's just taken a while. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any questions for staff, guys? Yes. There being none, anyone here wishing to speak in favor of this request, please come forward at this time. Ah, good evening. Good evening. I'm Lillian Smith. Um, my residence address is 5059 Planners Crossing, K. Howard, Georgia. Um, my current office address is 2717C Windermere Drive. Um, I am the attorney who is proposing um, the um, property, and I'm also the principal of ADCO Investments, LLC. Um, the purpose of the um, Property purchase of the property is um, to build a office space that is big enough to house my law firm uh, that has enough adequate parking um, for me to accommodate mediations, depositions, uh, real estate closings, that sort of thing. But we did not anticipate any type of medical facility that was going to um, over impede the parking. Um, we have an idea for similar businesses such as mine uh, to be in there, so we have planned so that the parking would be adequate for such. Um, but just wanted to give you a little idea of um, where this kind of came from is um, that I have been looking for an office uh, that I could purchase in the North Valasta area and had not found anything that would provide adequate parking. I've been in shared office space at North Ashley um, Center for the last five years, and it was time for me to have a dedicated office space, and when I started looking, 
there just was nothing um, that would provide what I needed in the North Valdosta area. So we found uh, this lot and approached the owner. Um, it is residential currently, um, but we thought that it was a good spot and um, the adjacent uh, properties were professional mostly. Um, we have spoken to the only residential, large residential um, uh, homeowner, um, which is to the north of our property, and she is fully in favor of this. Um, we've also spoken to the um, neighbors uh, on the uh, terrible directions, but on the back part of the property, and um, there was no objection there either. So um, we're hoping for a very a favorable decision um, based on that. Any questions for presenter? I have one question, so just, just bear with me here. Absolutely. Do you have any, and I know Mr. Cohen is, is doing this, so he may want to address this also. I'm just curious. It, 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 would you see an issue about inquiring about, and maybe they had to ask the mad engineering, about coming through the existing complex as far as your main in out and going to Wesley Road? I would have to bring Mr. Cohen in as far as that's I um, don't mind walking back up. <laughs> <laughs> really haven't had a whole lot of discussion about that. Jimmy, can you hear me? You don't want to tell if you don't want to, but I'm just curious. It's okay. You're talking about from the... I'm just curious what the thoughts were. Is your office going to be at the back of the three? Very nice. Correct. Uh, I'm just curious about, since Matt said a while ago, this office had that these four off this cluster had to go out to Wesley Road. I just asked Ms. Smith, is what's the possibility of actually running the access to her proposed project through that existing through fare right there? Connected to two properties. It's connected to two properties yeah. there. And it's use the drive one and the I'm just process. curious, and this is nothing, I'm just curious if Jimmy can tell me something. Where we're showing the, the dumpsters, we have to relocate them. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. It'd be probably a little closer in, I'm not for sure. We're going to have to come in. Back you get the corner, so Mr. Cohn and Ms. Man, kind of corner challenge, so y'all have to pay for it. <laughs> See, Jimmy, how it comes through there? And I'm just curious. It just, I'm just curious now. And on the side plan, that would be about where the handicapped spaces are? That's correct. Yeah. And of course, it would require permission of a landowner to the south. I mean, it is a good, always a good idea to interconnect property. Yes, yeah, you get on that main road. Um, you know, perhaps even just as a secondary access. It would require a little bit of a redesign of this layout, um, but it's a possibility. I think the fire department might have some questions about egress and uh, ingress and egress out of there also. Well, they designed it so the fire truck has an adequate turnaround at that west end. It's like a T-shaped hammer mm -hmm. and that okay. suffices for fire department. Um, but it's just a way to get in and out without having to make a turn on to North Oak Street. Do you anticipate the, uh, what's that, State Road? Is that going to be three lane, do you think, or what's that going to be? Well, I'm saying it's the widening Arterial. is going to go up to the traffic light where it comes in. Do you just, anticipate just, it being three lane? Uh, four lane. Four lane. Yeah. Now, with the split here, I don't know what the exact design is of the road section for this part. It might t start tapering down um, from you know the point of the triangle northward, but I don't know. It may be it's it's probably three. If I had to guess, I would say two lanes south, one lane north on this one segment. Because a lot of your northbound traffic is going around the curve to the right. Just just for y'all to look at and consider. Just to get all that all that traffic laid back on west of the road. Sure. I totally understand. I mean, you know, if if the possibility is there between you as exactly. the property owner or the developer of this property and the property owner of the south, if there is a possibility to actually connect the properties to these driveways, I think it's it's of a great benefit to all of all of that, the whole development. However, they cannot totally cancel. Um, means of egress or entry through the North Oak Street extension. Right. They're going to be required to to do that. You just can't simply cancel that. But I think if there is a possibility to connect both properties, it would be great to pursue that. Um, it, yeah. And it might become the main 
access into that, but that's totally contingent upon the property owner to the south, because this is not, none of this is public right of way, or they're, so they're gonna have to figure out some sort of an easement um, so, uh, agreement to do that. And, and you, you've not seen engineering stuff, like you said earlier. I'm just curious because it, it has up I see yet. a traffic light at Wesley Road coming up in Ryan's office. Now, I did ask if that was enough to warrant a traffic study by itself, and was told it was not. Okay. Thank you. I didn't ask y'all any more questions for Ms. Smith, Mr. Collins. I think you could. I think you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all guys for coming up this evening. All right, since okay, so we got somebody in favor. Anybody that wishes to speak against this request besides Mac, anybody wishing to speak against this request? There be none. Commissioners, any discussion for us for a motion? There be none. I will ask for a motion this time. Mr. Chair. Commissioner Wallace. Make a motion that we uh, recommend approval of this request. Have a motion to Commissioner Wiles. Do I have a second? Second. second. Mr. Hall got a second. Any discussion on this guys and gals before we ask for show of hands? There being none. All in favor of the, of the motion set forth, please take five raise your right hand. That is 8-0. Mr. Carmel, thank you much. Yeah, thank you. Give me Ms. Smith. Thank you so much for coming up tonight.